Hi, I'm Marino and I am an Italian violinist. I moved to England one year ago to be with my partner Lizzie and she's also one of the Fresco Festival musicians. And to work with the Liverpool-based charity Early Music as Education. Before to move to England, I've been working with a well-known Italian string orchestra called I Solisti Aquilani. Currently, apart from working with the charity EMAE, I'm also doing a degree at the Royal Northern College of Music with James Clark. I started to play the violin when I was six, for, just for fun, and then, thanks to my mom, I started to learn the violin at the age of seven. I'm grateful for her perseverance now, but at that time, uh, sometimes I wasn't really very happy. Uh, who has parents that are also musicians can understand what I'm talking about. During my career, I was lucky enough to meet my mentor, um, friend, and now also colleague, Dr. Alberto Sanna, who introduced me to historically informed performance. Since 2019, we have collaborated together with the cellist Lizzie Elliott and we have formed an early music ensemble called The Wandering Fiddlers. Today, I thought to share with you some of the main differences between a modern violin and a baroque violin and a modern bow and a baroque bow. Since the 16th century, the sea bouts, the corners, the arching of the plates, which are the pieces of wood which make up the body of the instrument, have never changed, as well as the overhanging edge, the scroll and the F-holes. Here we can see two violins, one modern and one baroque. The modern one was made by my friend, uh, the great Italian violin maker Gino Sfarra. And uh, the baroque violin, uh, currently I'm borrowing it from RNCM. The violin has been adapted from an artistic point of view due to the aesthetic demands of each historical period. Modern violin has metal strings which add tension to the instrument and produce a more resonant sound. The baroque violin uses gut strings of either sheep or beef gut. They are lighter than metal strings and they require a different kind of bow technique. Here you can see some of the main structural differences between the two violins. As you can see here, the fingerboard is flatter and shorter, which means there is less tension on the instrument. As you can see now, my modern violin has a chin rest to make it more comfortable to play and a steeper incline of the fingerboard which gives it more tension and projection. The bow has also undergone many adaptations over the last 500 years. The early bow has been cut from the wood in a convex shape and is lightweight. The modern bow, cut from a straight piece of wood and molded into a concave shape, has also metal to add extra weight. These things have a big impact on how we use these two bows. Here I'm playing my modern violin using my modern bow. And here I'm using baroque violin with a baroque bow.
thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep updated on all our content.